What's up guys, Matty here. Today we're gonna to be checking out the newest update to the Ozone family, Ozone 11. Ozone 11 comes with a host of new features, one which is blowing my mind called Stem Focus, Clarity, um, Attack and Sustain on almost every module, which is really cool. And lastly, uh, upward compression and the maximizer, along with a bunch of other minor tweaks and turns. So in today's video, we will go over all of those. We will also compare Ozone 10 to Ozone 11 and ask the question whether you need to upgrade or not. Let's go. All right, guys, the first module we're gonna check out is the new Clarity module. Now, I have to read this from the 10 because it is a pretty amazing sentence. It adaptively maximizes a track's spectral power to sound professional, polished, and optimally loud. Pulls the blanket off dull mixes without ever sounding harsh. That's a bold statement. Um, and it kind of does that. <laughs> It it adds like uh, I don't know what the hell it's doing I can't tell you, but when you turn it on, it makes it sound a little bit clearer and more clear. So let's just turn it up so you guys can hear it. Now I, I must say you got to be careful with this thing because you can go too far too fast. I have used it on a couple masters since I've had this plugin for the last week, and getting getting above twenty starts to get weird to me. But let's play this song um, by my buddy Trip Carter Heavyweights, and we'll turn it up and down so you guys can hear it. And also which is really cool on all the features. It now has Delta mode on everything in Ozone. So you can switch on Delta and hear what the plugin is doing. So you can see as we turn it up too much, it starts getting kind of washed out and just a little weird, a little too much for me. But let's just A, B it at 20. I'm gonna switch into bypass mode and game, we already are game matched. I'll just bypass it on and off at 20 so you guys can hear the difference. So just lightly, it helps. This is a fairly bright mix already, so it doesn't need it as much, but it does make it a little bit more clear. Now you have this fader, whatever you want to call it, that you can adjust. So if you don't want to affect anything uh, below like 2K, you can do that. Also has a tilt, so you can adjust if you want it to be darker or a bit brighter, and then attack and release. So this is a cool module. I've actually been using it a bit. It does add just a little extra special. It reminds me a little bit of like what OTT can do to your mix, give you that brightness, but a cool module and a welcome addition to the Ozone family. Next, we're gonna talk about what I think is the biggest feature change here, which is called Stem Focus, and we'll also incorporate the new attack and sustain features into this whole overview. But here's what Stem Focus does. You have your full mix here. You'll see this new module here that wasn't on Ozone 10. You have your full mix here, but if you switch this, it will say vocals, switch this drums, and switch this to bass. And as you might assume, by clicking on any of these, it will focus on just the drums. And this is super powerful. So if we take an equalizer, right, and add just the drums, watch as I move the EQ around, you'll hear only the drums really changing in this mix. And it does it so well that it's kind of mind blowing to me. So as you can hear the hi-hats and snares were brought up right there. But Tripp's voice sounds the same. It didn't change much. And you can do this with anything. If we wanted Trip to be brighter, we could switch to voice. So his voice is now brighter, but the music hasn't changed. So it's really wild. Another thing, that's incorporated now is this transient and sustain. If you switch this, you can now switch from transient mode or sustain mode. Now, this is super helpful if say we want this kick drum to have more attack, but we don't want more bass so much. We can switch it to drum mode, switch it to transient mode, and let's play it. Me. 
So you can hear it down there. Now we're getting a little bit more of, the, of just the, the tap of the kick. Now let's try switching it to sustain mode with the bass and see what that does. Now keep in mind, you do have to do one at a time because if I switch to bass, it's now boosting the attack of the bass on the transient, which isn't what we want. So if you want to change your snare and your bass, you're probably gonna have to use two different modules, but let's pull up just the sustain of the bass. So it's amazing what you can do with this new stem focus and then using the transient the attacks for whatever you're looking for. If we want a little more kick, just use the transient on the drum module and there you have it. So what you can do with a master now uh, and this plugin is, is pretty mind boggling. And there's so many times in the past where I had a mastering session that this plug would have been so helpful just to bring the vocal up or if the vocal was too harsh, you can now DS just the vocal. Tons of stuff you can do with just the stereo track now and this module. Now let's move on to the master assistant, play it and to see what it can do for us. They've also added this assistive vocal balance to it, which through analyzing hundreds of top songs, our master assistant learned how to sit vocals in the mix. So apparently this is gonna tell me if my vocals are correctly in the mix or not. Let's switch back to a full mix and then we'll just play it and hit the assist and see what it comes up with. Okay, so that is a big difference. Now, this is one thing I've noticed with Ozone 11, their master assist is like crazy compared to the old one, which was a little bit more subtle. This one seems to have like gone leaps and bounds. And in my opinion, sometimes it's not that great. I feel like this clarity might be getting used too much with the stabilizer, but let's just A B with the game matched and see what it sounds like. So it sounds like there's been a bunch of reverb kind of added to my mix and it's super wide and not a great way and it just feels a little blown out. What I've found is that a lot of times what that is on the master assist is the impact and then the imager is just a little bit much. Now if we take these two off, let's just listen bypass the nut. That sounds a little more balanced to me. I'm, I'm not still crazy about the EQ choices it made, but let's see the let's see what the stabilizer's doing. The stabilizer's fine. I actually like the stabilizer. I use this daily in some of my mastering as well. And the clarity's not going too crazy. We could probably tilt this back a little bit. That now sounds a little closer to me to what, what I would think it is. Now, if we switch over to this master assist section, we can see what it did. I, apparently it says my vocals are good, so they didn't change the volume. And then this is where you can globally change a lot of these settings. So the master assist is cool. I feel like they've like overdone it a bit in this version of Ozone. Like we, we just listened, it feels just kind of blown out. And I'm afraid that some people will just think it's the right thing to do because I've had that happen before and can kind of ruin mixes. So make sure if you're using the master assist to bypass it with the gain match, because I think that can really help you to make sure it's actually improving your mix and not making it worse. Okay, lastly, let's check out the maximizer. Now I'm a huge fan of the maximizer already. I use it daily. I'm a big fan of the transient and the modern. I use that on just about all my mixes and masters. They've added this feature called upward compression, which I dig. And I'm gonna play it for you and just turn this up and then Thanks to the new Delta mode, you'll be able to hear what it's doing.
So you can hear it's bringing up the lower level stuff. Uh, let's now A-B it with um, all the music in and not in Delta mode. So it's a little hard to hear on this song, but something more dynamic where there's some really low parts and big parts, I could see the upward compression being useful. And then of course you have the regular limiter feature, which is which is the same, although it is redesigned. And I really dig the new design of Ozone 11 with, with these lines a little bit closer together. And it just seems like a little more snappy. All right, so let's compare Ozone 11 and Ozone 10 really quick. They definitely look different. It feels more rounded in the new version. And as you can see, like with clarity, or if you pull up an EQ, the EQ, the lines separating the frequencies are just tighter, which which I, I like. I don't know, it, it works better for me. And then everything's like a little more circle focused and easier to get to, right? And it just feels a bit snappier. Like I like the way it's working better. And then of course, the only new module is this clarity module, which is well worth it. I think it can help in a lot of situations, but the big difference is this ability to switch to the uh, transient sustains, which can be really helpful. Uh, there's some other plugins out there that have this feature now, and I've used it a ton, and it can really get you out of a lot of jams. And being able to put it into every module in Ozone it is quite impressive. So, you know, you can use it in EQ, you can use it in Clarity, whatever you're using. That's a nice feature that's been added. Also, the maximizer looks completely different. I think it looks better but you now have the upward compression and then you also have Delta mode here as well. Where the money is, I think, is this section right here. Is this be able to balance the three different main parts of your mix just from a master. I think that's super helpful, especially for mastering engineers. You know, if you're recording on your own and you can go back and forth with the mix to change things, maybe it's not such a great feature, but if you're just stuck with just the stereo file like I am a lot of times, this is a game changer, right? So those are the main feature differences. Up to you whether you think it's worth the change. All right, guys, so that is the video for Ozone 11. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's a worthy upgrade? I'd like to know. If you need your songs mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also find my courses and presets there too. Talk to you soon.